Readers, welcome to this webinar brought to you from the stable of Rasmed Publications Limited. My name's Bamidele Sanusi. I'll be the moderator for this webinar. We appreciate the time you have carved out to register for this event and more importantly for joining this webinar. I can assure you it's going to be a great time together. I would like to introduce to you our CEO in person of Mr. Gadiga Adidapo to give the opening remark. Thank you. Welcome, everyone. Thank you for joining us for today's uh, webinar. I'm Badega Adedapo, CEO of Rashmi Publications Limited, Nigeria. I trust you all keeping safe. Uh, I would like to express our sincere appreciation to you all for the unalloyed support and confidence you have in us and our products. COVID-19 has redefined everything about human activities. As we get adapted to the new way of life, and business model that has become the new normal. The old style is with speed of light fading out and we can but get on to new approaches of getting things done. At this point in time, it is not about the strongest or most powerful that will survive, but the most responsive to this change. This pandemic has introduced so many things into our environment. It creates a kind of level playing ground for everybody. It all depends on those who and think. We decided to come up with a webinar series to enable schools and educational activities to bounce back for exponential growth as quickly as possible. Irrespective of the challenges that the current pandemic has posed to our business operations, the current happening is in the end of the world, but a sharp bend that we translate into a straight path once we don't give in. It's human being that make things happen. Things can never happen on its own. We are not alone, and we are in this together. And together we shall conquer. Uh, this main edition of Rightman Publications Limited right now, which is geared towards uh, helping us now 
and post COVID-19. You can be rest assured, a great value will be added to you and your business today. You won't remain the same, no way. Once again, thank you for participating and do have a worthwhile moment with us. Thank you. Yes, once again, we we'll welcome you all. Today, we are glad to put this topic off for discussion, which is geared towards pivotal change for business growth in the face of COVID-19, a school owner blueprint, which is to be anchored by a seasoned management consultant in person of Mr. Steve Olayinga. But right before we get started, if you have any questions during the course of the presentation, please feel free to type them into the question box in your Zoom. Or alternatively, send us a message on this WhatsApp number, 0701-444-3069. Again, 0701-444-3069. We'll bring them up during the course of the presentation, and we will also have time to answer questions at the end of the uh, presentation. But just before we go straight to the presentation, it's, it's necessary for me to uh, just give us a little brief about the biography of our presenter today. Mr. Steve Olayinka is a versatile management expert with latitude, wide latitude of professional experience. We span training, facilitating, organizational development, sales and marketing, knowledge and change management, creativity and innovativeness, as well as personal and professional effectiveness. Mr. Steve is the CEO of Fuller Youth Venture, a one-stop shop for management consultancy. Now, without further ado, we will turn the time over to Mr. Steve Olayinka. And I wish us a great time listening to him. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. My name again is Steve Olaika, and we shall be talking together on this very important topic, pivotal change for business growth. Another word for pivotal means crucial, essential, vital, very critical. So now the topic will look like, if we want to change it, critical change for business growth. I can tell that we all experienced some changes in the recent time. COVID has changed the face of life and of business. Just in line with what the MB CEO said some minutes ago, COVID is redefining life, is redefining business. And if that is the situation, everybody who is into life and into business need to respond to this change so that we can grow. Once again, you are welcome. Our presentation is revolving around how do we take advantage of this change that COVID has forced on us? How do we take advantage of the change that COVID has forced on us? Change is a normal thing in life. But I'm not sure this navigation is moving. My slides are not moving. I hope there's no hitch with that. All right, thank you. Technical team is actually working on that. Great, beautiful. Now I'm back. I'm back. I want us to open with the quotation of Walt Disney. Walt Disney is actually the founder of Disney Wonderland. And he said this thing, very, very important. He said, time and conditions change so rapidly that we must keep our aim constantly focused on the future. 
Meaning the essence of change is to prepare us for the future. What is happening now? It's not just an event. It's actually to launch us into the future. And so in defining change, it is like saying, change is a journey, not an event. Change is not an event. It is a journey. And this journey actually starts somewhere and is heading somewhere. The first thing is to know that we are a product of the past. Everybody, even your business. There is a past of you, a past of your business. And then there is a present of it, a present of your business and of your life. And then there is a journey towards the future. And if change is making us to move from one level to another, we move from the past to the present, and now from the present, we are moving to the future, the only thing that makes it possible for us to transit, it is called change. And so if that is it, then there are some consequences of change. Change involves pain. It is not something that you will enjoy all the time. It will bring about things. It will bring about shock. In fact, sometimes we will deny it. Because it is moving us from our comfort zone. It is taking us from what we are familiar with into what we are not familiar with. Before now, you and I, we know that uh, life is normal and then we can, when we see ourselves on the road, we hug ourselves, we hold our hands, we are free with ourselves. And, but now it's telling us, no, we don't have to do that anymore. There is a shift from what used to be into what is now going to be. be. So there is pain, there is shock, there is denial. But don't forget that human nature. We have a desire to control our circumstances. And sometimes change takes away this control. I'm sure for some of us, we will wish our school will be running by now. I'm, I know I'm talking to uh, school owners. From our curriculum, from our agenda, school should be resuming back from Easter break, and then we should be in the fourth quarter, and, and, and then business should be running. But now, COVID is saying no, nobody should be doing any business now. You cannot earn money, you cannot enroll students, and some, even in the, in the second term, the, a lot of uh, schools did not conclude their examination before they were forced to go on break. Meaning that change takes away some control from us. Another element of change is that it places a demand on us to respond. You cannot keep quiet. When things are changing around, this is not the time to fold our arms and wait for things to sort themselves out. As somebody said, things don't sort themselves out, people sort things out. So, number one, change involves pain, it involves shock, it involves denial. Change takes away control from us. We are left in the dark sometimes because we can't control what is happening. And then, lastly, change demands that we do something. As we are now, we have to do something before something is forced to do us. Change calls for action. Having said that, let's look at coronavirus. We are not very clear about the story of how it began, but you and I are uh, we are aware that it started from one uh, market, one food market in Wuhan, far away in China. And it's supposed to be a transmission of disease from man, animal to human. And then all of the stories that Soran said, a lot of us will have, the, will have divergent versions. And it's okay. It's okay to have different stories around COVID. What is important is that COVID is here and we have to deal with it. But now, is COVID contagious? Is COVID contagious? Can it spread? Yes, COVID can be very contagious. In fact, by statistics, COVID 
will spread to minimum of 1.5% and maximum of 2.5%. Uh, 